Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss with you the concept of insertion sort. This is one of the sorting technique, right? First of all, I will try to make you understand and then I will implement it in one of the programming languages that is Java using the environment of Eclipse, right? For this, I am going to create three, fu three functions. One is for creation of an array or inserting the data into the array. Second is to display the content of the array and third of course for the insertion sort, right? These are the two functions we are using time and again. You can use it, you can learn it from my previous videos that deals with that uh, give you the information about the arrays, right? And in this video, I am going to concentrate on the concept of insertion sort. And for this, I will take the example of an array of integer having 5 elements, 2, minus 2, 30, 7 and 20, right? Once I go for this. Then for insertion sort, we go for the concept that it deal, it treat this array as the collection of two different arrays. One is always sorted and another is always unsorted, right? Whenever we talk about the sorted and unsorted, uns sorted means they are always arranged, unsorted that need to be arranged, right? For this. Can we say the array with one element is always sorted one, right? And what the job is? Take one element from unsorted and put it into the sorted list, right? And what the way is? What I am saying? Take this element from here and put it into this. Can I say the position of minus 2? is 1 and then let us compare it with the previous location. A pos is A pos minus 1 and then swap. Once this happen, what the result is? It becomes minus 2, 2, 30, 7 and 20, okay. For this, let us instead of 20, let us make it 0. Now this is a status or if I go for this as minus 2, 2, 0, 7 and 20. Up till this, the list is sorted and this one is unsorted. So take this element, take the first element from the unsorted list and try to insert it into the sorted list. And for this, the concept is same, position is 2, if is same, if a pos is less than a pos minus 1, just swap. Right? Once it work, then what we get? We get instead of this 0 and instead of this 2, right? Instead of this 0 and 2, okay, uh, 0, 2. Now let us make it instead of 7 for understanding, let us make it minus 1. This one is sorted list. 
minus 2, 0, 2, minus 1 and 7. So, this one is the element I have to take it from here and insert it into the position into the sorted array. For that again the same concept pos equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. If a pos is less than a pos minus 1, then swap, swap these two values. Once this happen for the position equal to 3, the status will become Can I say this is a sorted list? No. But this is able to move the maximum value into the sorted list to the next position and included the first element from the unsorted list to the sorted one, but not at the right place. So, what to be done? Repeat this process with the position equal to 2, position equal to 1, position equal to 0, no, position equal to 0 will not work. So, what I can say, repeat this for pos equal to 3, pos minus minus and pos is greater than 0. Once this happen, this minus 1 will be at the right position. Let us see how it work. And for its working, for its working, let us go to the basic. I have created this creation as well as display. I have used this function from the previous video itself. These are the two function. One is insertion, another is display. Insertion take one data at a time, convert it to the integer and store it into the array. And the display, display all the elements of the array. And for this example, I have taken the array of five elements, right. So, display and insertion as it is that we are taking from the previous examples and next we have to go for the insertion sort. This is a function that we are going to develop now, right? Right. So, for this, I have gone for, I have made the use of this concept. That is this one, right? What it does? It arrange one element from the unsorted list to the sorted list. So, it increase the size of the sorted list by one. Let us see, does our program work? The reason being I have just uh, used the if as it is and then I have gone for the 4. Why I have gone for the 4? I want this to be a generic program. I want this to be a program that work for all the element of the array. But using this, what I am going to do? I am going to arrange one of the element that is first element into the unsorted list and putting it into the sorted one, right? And let us see how it work. Please enter the 0, right? And for this, Yes, one to insert right. Let us display the element. These are the element that I have given twenty three minus four, twenty sixty seven, eight, and four. Now, let us go for the insertion sort, right. We have already told you that uh, what its job is, it will arrange the very 
first element given to the unsorted list to the sorted one. So, in our example, its job is to arrange these two elements, nothing else, right. Now, please enter the choice as 3 and let us display the element. So, this one is arranged, right. So, this one is arranged. So, can we say our concept is working? We are going for the right concept. This one is a concept. Right now, for this concept, we have done nothing new, right? And for this, I have applied the for loop, for position is something, right? And this loop, what it does? It plays one of the element from the unsorted list to the sorted list and we have to repeat it again and again. For how many times? For the number of elements, for all the elements that are aware, aware, uh, in the array. So, at the top of this, we must have to go for one more for and that is what I have used here for which let me go for this concept. Right. And now let us try to execute it. Enter 1. right and now let us display the elements. These are the element 23, 6, minus 78, 0 and minus 6. Enter the choice as 3 and now again display it. What we are getting? Our array is sorted one. Of course, I will say this is not the only way that you can use for insertion short. The other way is, okay, let me go for its example. Let us go for its understanding and I will expect you to write its program. And for this, I will say, I will go for the example of this. I am assuming this is a sorted list and this is the unsorted. Very first step is to take the element from the unsorted list and how to get it? Let us say data is equal to A0123, 3 or pos is equal to 3. And what next? Find out its position. How we can find it out? The position. Find the position into the sorted. For that, can I go for for i equal to 0, i is less than pos, i plus plus. If ai is more than a of pos, just break. So, can I say this is the data that we have to insert and this is the position, this give me, this for loop give me the position where I have to insert this data. So, for 0, 2, 3, a 0 is more than a 3, no, it is false, so it will not work incremented a 10 sorry a 1 that is 10 is more than a 3 yes. 
so it will break here. So this is the position where I have to insert the 7. Can I insert it? No. What I have to do next? Create the position. How to create the position? Shift this this way. This is the only way you can create the position and then put this 7 at this point or if I say 5 will remain here, 10 will come here, 10 will go here as well as 15 will go here. 7 is overwritten, right? So for that I have taken, I have stored 7 prior to this. Then go for this and how you can create this position? Just move this this way. This is the another way to go for the insertion sort. You can this way as well and I will expect you to write the program yourself. In case you are with some problem, provide me the comments. Thank you.